Hey, good morning everybody. This is Today with Todd and I'm coming to you this morning from here in South Carolina and I'm going to be talking to you this morning about that God is not mocked. God is not mocked. Let me get my camera fixed here for just a second. All right, there we go. So, coming to you this morning, I want to talk to you from the book of Galatians, chapter 6, and I'm going to talk to you from verses 6 through verses 9. You know, I, I felt this just impressed all night long while I was uh, in my sleep that God is not mocked. God is not mocked. You know, all week long, I'm going to be coming to you, I'm going to be talking to you about that God is a provider. You know, we know that God's name is Jehovah Jireh. And most of the time we say that he is our provider. It also means that he is the God who sees. This morning I'm going to talk to you about the the law of sowing and reaping. You know, I was looking in Galatians 6 this morning early, about 5, 5 something a.m. And uh, just reading from God's word, Galatians 6 and verse 7 says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. You know, there is such comfort in, in knowing that God is not mocked. I began to look these things up and found out that it means that God will not be sneered at. Uh, you will not be able to turn up your nose at who he is or what he's done. Uh, you know, you will not be able to ridicule what God does in this sense, that whatever a man sows, he says, Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. This law of God works in the earth, both positive and negatively. Whatever a man sows, if a man sows in doubt, if a man sows in faith, you know, he's going to reap. He goes on and tells us from Galatians 6 that if a man sows to his flesh, that of his flesh he's going to reap corruption. So that tells me that I can sow something or have a seed. There can be a seed from the flesh, a seed of the carnal, uh, a seed that, of something that's natural, a uh, seed that's something fleshly. You know, if, if I sow my time at work, then I'm going to reap an income. You know, uh, but he says if I sow to the flesh, then there's going to be corruption or there's going to be destruction that comes from it. But then Paul also tells us in Galatians, he says, but he that sows to the spirit. So we have to know that whatever a man sows, he's going to reap and that God is not going to be mocked. This is, this is a law in the earth that works both for the believer and the unbeliever. It doesn't matter. Whoever, he says, whatsoever a man sows, that he's going to reap. So he says, if I sow to the Spirit, and sow of the Spirit, there's going to be a harvest that comes from the Spirit. Now, this is going to be life, life everlasting. There's going to be vitality. There's going to be something that's unending. It'll be life everlasting. Now, what we have to focus on here is that we sow the right seed, that we sow the right seed. I'm reminded of this. You know, uh, I have blueberry bushes that... Uh, some of them we planted 15 years ago. Some of them 10 and 12 years ago. It always takes time for a harvest. As this year, I had the most plentiful blueberry crop I ever harvested. I had people stop and they'd say, I have blueberry bushes, but mine you know, don't produce enough for me you know, to, to gather. You know, it's not really enough to eat. They asked me, you know, what's the problem? I said, well, how long ago did you plant them? Oh, five, six years ago. I said, oh, well, it takes about 10 years for a blueberry bush, you know, to produce a bountiful harvest. I said, the only thing, the only problem here is time. That's what you've got. That's what you've got to understand here. You know, what, what do you want as a harvest? And number two, whatever you sow, there's always the thing called time. There's always time in between what you sow and what you reap. But you can guarantee that God says he's not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he's going to reap. So then we have to then focus on sowing the right seed. I want to welcome everybody coming on this morning. 
I just want to talk to you this morning about having the right seed and sowing the right seed. You know, you know if we should be sowing kindness, if, if you, whatever a man wants, that's what he's going to have to sow in this life. Uh, so then we have to understand too, that when we sow a seed, that we not only are planting it, but we have to water it, we have to fertilize it, we have to nurture it. All of these, you know, mechanics go into that. But what happens over time? You know, this main thing that I see Paul uh, put his finger on in Galatians 6 and 9, he says, don't let us become weary in well-doing. Man, this becomes the real battle of the mind. That's what people were asking me. You know, what's wrong with my plants? Why am I not getting a harvest? Well, they're becoming weary, coming out every year, looking for looking for a harvest, looking for, you know, where is the results of what I have planted? You know, is what I'm doing producing the outcome that I want here? You know, this is a this is literally a battle of patience, because Paul says here in the Bible, due season. He said, "For in due season we shall reap, if we faint not." You've got to pay attention to that word, if. You can't faint. You can't give up. You can't stop. You can't give up hope. I mean, let me assure you of something. Every investment always has an, an outcome. There's no farmer that plants with a guarantee, but he knows that there's going to be some type of outcome. He's either going to get uh, some harvest, a little harvest, or maybe he's going to get a bumper crop. But he knows this, he's going to have to wait. There's always a time in between what we plant and what we harvest. The time between what we plant and what we harvest. So somebody today, I felt this so strongly in my spirit this morning, there is somebody today that is very discouraged. And the only thing that is discouraging you is time. Let me assure you this, there's always the time between the seed and the harvest. There's always, let me say that again. There's always the time between the seed and the harvest. Uh, God sowed his son into the earth. He saw the earth was out of order. He sowed his son into the earth that he might reap a family. Let me ask you today as I'm closing this out today. Because this is today with Todd. What are you going to sow today? What are you going to sow? Now, I came on here to sow God's word. I know that I'm going to reap a harvest from that. God's word always gives a return. But you have to pay attention to the ground that you're sowing into. You know, if you if you're not if you're not receiving a harvest from what you are sowing, maybe you need to examine the soil, examine the ground. Uh, nobody sows their seed without first knowing the state of the ground. That has to be the first principle that you understand with sowing and reaping. Second is that you have to understand there's always a time principle associated to a seed and a harvest. Hey, thank you for joining me today. This was Today with Todd. What are you going to sow today? I want you to think about that. Think about it. You have, you have the same amount of time as every human being, 24 hours in a day, 168 hours in a week. Uh, the difference between people is what they sow. The difference between people is what they know. The difference between people is what they reap. Hey, there is a harvest for you, and there is something that you need to sow today. Talk with the Holy Spirit and ask him, God, what do I need to sow today? Where do I need to sow it? And within whom do I need to sow it? I promise you that he'll speak to you. God will show you things to come. I believe he wants to show you your harvest. Hey, thanks for joining me. I'll be back on tomorrow morning, 9.05 a.m. Thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to, some more resources or some help with things, you can go to my website. That's wisdomforbeyond.com. Or you can email me any questions you have at gobeyondchurch at gmail.com. Just want to encourage you today in what you're sowing. Don't give up. Don't become weary in well-doing. Keep going. Keep growing. Keep sowing, all right? I'll see you tomorrow at 9.05, all right? Have a great day. Bye-bye.